Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and please I apologize for my voice uh, because I've not been well that's why uh, I couldn't post on any of my channels for so many days <clears throat> so anyway I'm, I'm still not fully recovered but at least at uh, this much recovered I can sit and you know record my reaction so we have like crazy official MB yes I might not be able to scream and shout like I was doing at Set Me Free Part 2 reaction because my health and my voice is not going to allow me to. But right now we are at 12 million views <coughs> when I'm sitting for recording. Uh, and congratulations once again to Jimin, uh, our beautiful angel uh, for his solo debut. And yeah, I don't want to delay this any further. Let's see what the vibe of the song is because this time I did not uh, really check the teaser. I checked the photo um, and it no, it felt like a more sad vibe. Like Set Me Free Part 2 is a more, I don't know, it's like a war cry and Set Me Free and this and that. That looked more uh, like he's sleeping down and there's like, you know, there's like mud and, you know, it's, it's a very dirty area where he's sitting. It's, it was, it was very interesting. Yeah, the, the, the picture was very interesting, uh, the poster basically for the song. So let's see what the song is. I feel I, I feel this is going to be a completely different vibe uh, than Set Me Free. And I know he went to Jimmy Fallon's uh, show, but I've not watched it yet. So I, I don't have my thoughts yet on that. So anyways, let's watch this MV right away. Yes, Jimin. I'm so sad I can't shout. Ooh. I'm afraid that everything will disappear. It's a sad song. I'm telling you guys. Oh, before before I play, uh, I've not listened to the album yet because I wanted to watch the MV first and then give a listen to the album. But you can let me know which is your favorite song from this album. I told you. Oh yeah, yeah. This, this was the this, this was the poster. Yes, yes. Oh, I, oh, it's it's a sad song. I told you it's a sad song. I told you it's a sad song. See, I told you it's a sad song. Okay, great. <laughs> No, 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 he just did not. Park Jimin just did not make a title song of my favorite musical genre. <coughs> I'm processing this. I'm processing this. I'm really sorry. I'm, I can't talk much, but oh my God. Did he just make a title track with the 80s pop sound? The synth pop? You're kidding me. No, you're kidding me. Right? Park Jimin, you're kidding me. It has the retro feel. Guys. That's literally one of my favorite genres after pop rock. This sound. This sound. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> Let's continue. That beat drop was not expected. Guys, Arme. <coughs> And I just Okay. Okay. This 
sounds so different and I mean in a good way. <clears throat> this looks like a freaking movie. This video aesthetic is so not K-pop. This video aesthetic is, this is like a movie. This is like a movie playing. This is like those old movies, old Hollywood films. That's the aesthetic I'm getting. Whoa, I love it. I love it. Ooh, what is that? Gemini's free. It's like he wants to feel numb. He's hurt, but he just wants to drown himself in loud noise, huh? Because he's not able to take that pain, huh? That's why he's saying, "I'm falling. Let me. You spin me up high. I'm out of my mind. Look at the lyrics. Look at the lyrics, guys." <coughs> This song, it has this nostalgia factor, man. Oh my god. Oh my god, the song, the instrumental, you're kidding me. I am so impressed. This was, Jimin literally has subverted all of our expectations. Tell me, any of you armies, were you expecting this sound? Were you even expecting this sound from Park freaking Jimin? You tell me. I was not. I was not. Like everybody was speculating what kind of sound Jimin is going to give us with his album. And this was the last thing I was expecting. This aesthetic. This. I, I just so. This is a different kind of mature. Like just every. You know with Astronaut or uh, 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 the entire Jack in the Box. Indigo and now this face. Just are you seeing just the distinct personalities of every member? Like what what vision they have in terms of exploring their musical ability? Like I never knew. Like Jimin wanted to try this kind of sound for himself. It's fantastic. It's so mature. It's so it's so him. It it makes complete sense that this is Jimin's song. I did not expect it, but it makes complete sense to me. It's fantastic. Oh my God. It's, oh. I cannot wait for the rest three. Yeah. Seriously, seriously. Though technically, uh, we didn't get an album from Sok Jin. We'll get that probably when he comes back uh, up from his service. So we're going to get that. Jin's, Jin was, you know what? He was right. He was right. Jin was correct that he said that my album drop is going to be the last. He was correct. So his album is still ready. So this is the, just the third album that we're getting from the member. Third full length album. So we have four albums to go now. <laughs> I'll go back a little. I just love how they come in and their eyes meet. That was fantastic. Instrumentals. Like he found what he was searching for. telling you what the song is like the song is like a freaking drug the song and this is so i don't know 
if it is your style or not but if you have watched my reactions for a long time you know this is the sound i love the most like those are my like top two if you if you remove pop rock genre this is what i love oh my god i'm going to die listening to the song now i have already been looping set me free because i was <clears throat> not well and i was like set me free i'm like okay just heal me man completely so i was just so tired just lying down and being all unwell and sick now this song oh my god such a sexy song man i'm it's so jiven it makes complete sense armies This part is so good. Wow, his vocals here. <clears throat> oh. Again. What's the point? No. Oh my god. Oh, I love it. All right, I'll stop this. I don't know what the dance practice of this song is going to look like, but if it's not aesthetic and sexy i'll be very disappointed because oh i just want to see jimin just sway and just do his thing and you know be his best sexy charming self on that video on that dance practice video but let's talk about the song first <clears throat> and i'm sorry i can't talk too much but the song is so my cup of tea i think i'll be very honest this song is not everybody's cup of tea like within the fandom only i can assure you not everybody is going to jam with it like they will probably jam with set me free part 2 but probably not this one because it's a different kind of beauty <clears throat> this is a very mature song uh in the sense that it's not your peppy groovy kpop number that you expect you know that oh and some something specifically from some an artist like jimin where you expect a song probably like i don't know something like filter because if you see the last solo which was released by jimin was filter so one would expect that oh it's going to be something like that because you know it's going to be groovy and sassy and sexy and all of that it is the song is also groovy and sexy but it's not filter and Why would he make something similar to Filter when he's already done it? But I feel that if people were expecting something of that kind, they will be a tad bit disappointed, and I am not. I was not expecting this. Honestly, if you ask me, like when Set Me Free was released, I told you at that time, like I was expecting something in the lines of Serendipity, the softer side of Jimin. That's what I was expecting. I honestly, if you ask me, what were you expecting? I was expecting the softer side of Jimin more. <clears throat> because i probably thought he is probably more he's probably not tired of showing his sexy side but he he neither opted for softer he neither opted for sexy he went to to a totally dark aesthetic which i should have guessed because even hobi did that namjoon also kind of did the namjoon's was more healing uh, but still there was a lot of dark darkness you know, undertones to it this i have to listen to all the other songs also to get get the full picture of what the album is actually trying to kind of communicate which side of jimin but with the two songs i can definitely say it's more on the darker side like <clears throat> a side which probably he has this is a side which we have not seen at all at all <clears throat> so for people who were expecting something like uh like i said filter or probably something like serendipity they would maybe they would be like okay this is the title track not for me because for me firstly because i think this is more affinity towards that kind of sound which i really like uh the retro sound 
uh, I did not expect Jimin to actually incorporate that in his on his title song. It was the first song, his debut song, basically. But I'm so glad he did because expect the unexpected from the BTS members. I swear. Like, I mean, if, even in Namjoon's case, you would think <laughs> he'll probably you know his his title track is going to be one full rap song where he's completely being his monstrous self, and then you get a song like Wildflower. It's unbelievable. In, even with Hobie, oh my god, we expected sunshine. What did we get? Like this complete dark aesthetic. So it's, I mean, I'm not even surprised now. I'm not even surprised. I'm, I cannot wait for the rest of the four members to also show us their, the side which they have never shown us. That'll be so, so amazing. Uh, but talking about this particular song, I love this the entire instrumental was just so beautiful i don't know if they've given who the producer of the song is and i think uh, lyrics wise i think namjoon is also one of the lyricists because i saw his story that i have also contributed on the list so i think jimin also wrote the lyrics for this namjoon also wrote and a couple of other people i forgot because in couple of i i saw jimin also having credits in all so many of the songs uh when the track list was released <clears throat> so i love the instrumental this arrangement was so beautiful and this song it's just, if I have to, you know, talk, just compare it with Set Me Free, that song is more groovy, vibey, dancey, but this is more my aesthetic, this is more my jam, because I can really appreciate the sultriness of his vocals here, like the kind of vocals he has, this kind of song is just so perfect for him, because uh, it's kind of showing us uh, the emotion where there's pain also, but there's long, there's pain, there's longing, there's love, uh, there's hurt. So many emotions which are getting expressed through this particular song. And uh, Jimin's voice is just so perfect to actually capture that emotion. And just the production in terms of how the song is arranged with those beautiful instrumentals. I loved it. I loved it. I cannot wait for the dance choreography video also for this because I feel the 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 imagery and the dancing and the arrangement and I don't know the formations and all of that is going to be very different for this song I mean how do you even choreograph a song like this uh, like it, it, it cannot be energetic it cannot be uh, it cannot be on beat also it will be on beat but I feel how are you going to express the emotion of the song with the dance is what I want to see uh, but I love the video also so mature oh my god and, and it was not like your typical videos it was like more like a movie it, it actually felt like a freaking movie to me. This was not a music video. This was a freaking movie. You know, a proper storyline which is going on. And uh, he just doesn't want to wake up from this dream. He's like, I don't save me. I want, to, I want to feel this pain. Because if I don't feel this pain, then I'll probably lose out on that memory. Uh, uh, on that love, on that emotion that I have for this other person. Oh, I love that. Fantastic. So... That's it guys, that was the reaction. I'm sorry I cannot talk much because I'm not well, but I def I wanted to sit and make this reaction. So yeah, that was it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and sharing your thoughts about the song. Uh, did you like it? Did you not like it? Which is your favorite song from Face? And I want to congratulate Jimin once again uh, on his solo debut. So proud of him. I hope he wins a lot of awards. Uh, for this song and for this album. So yes, that's it guys. I'm gonna sign off now and I'll see you soon on my next video. Bye. You are the cause of my euphoria.